but we've peanut butter out, we've pickles out. So I'm doing this for all of my pregos out there. It is time for the burger that I've been craving since probably October. And it's now April. Hello my loves, it's me Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna test, taste, whatever, all of my pregnancy cravings. But I, I'm so disappointed. I have been craving for months, literally since my first trimester, an Impossible Whopper from Burger King. I have not had it yet. I had one once in my whole entire life when I had my niece and she wanted me to take her to get fast food. And I did and I was like, oh, I've been hearing about this Whopper, let me try it. I had the worst PMS. I was all excited to do this. I was gonna go do that. We were gonna go get it together in the car. We're gonna eat it in the car. It's gonna be fantastic. I was gonna like mukbang it kind of, kind of, but I'll get to that in a second. I ate breakfast. I've been holding off on lunch so I could go get this and some other goodies. And Adam called on his lunch break and we started talking and he's like, let me call and check on your car. Completely forgot my car's in the shop. So that part's not happening today. It worked in my favor because I can't do like a full mukbang spread because my pregnant stomach doesn't work like that. I would get so sick. I don't throw up, so I will wake up in the middle of the night with the worst stomach pains, nauseous. It's just not good when I overeat. So we'll break this up. We'll go get the Whopper either DoorDash tonight because yeah, or wait till we get the car, but I need this video for Monday. I don't know. I needed to eat lunch though because I'm starving, like starting to get nauseous, starving, because I was literally putting on my shoes to go out the door when I was reminded that I don't have my car. But I do have a grocery store a mile away, so I'll probably, for exercise, to make sure I actually move today. We'll get to that in another second, but I'll probably walk there, get some goodies, come back, and we'll continue this video throughout the day, kind of. Adam has an event that he has to work at tonight, so I have all day and night to just eat and do this and do a fun girl video. This might not be so fun, my lunch, but I have been craving bags of salad. I will eat the whole bag. And let me tell you, yes, salad's healthy and it's not the worst craving ever. However, I put all of the junk in there. Like this is the Asian one. That's the one I love the best right now. And it's got the wontons and all of that stuff. And then for protein, I'll put some tofu either in the air fryer or the pan and just fry it up really quick. And I'll eat that. And I have water in my yay in my water bottle that Mary made me so it says you are enough the universe I love this it's kind of gonna go with baby's nursery theme but we'll save that for when I show you the nursery that isn't even started have nothing Adam promised me tomorrow we're gonna work on the registry the water is infused with affirmations when you drink it and whether it's in my head or not I don't care if you want to come for me I believe this completely because I'm living it I started drinking out of this yesterday when she gave it to me she had just finished it so she's like give it a couple days just to kind of set so i started drinking out of it yesterday and i'm telling or the day before and all day yesterday i was looking in the mirror as i was passing by and i was like oh you look good today and i looked like this this and i've been having some insecurities like self-esteem issues like all women do all pregnant women do so this week i hit 24 weeks on thursday today's friday yesterday. This week is the first week that I'm starting to really feel what people say pregnancy feels like. I mean, not like first trimester where you're so sick and then, you know, things are different second trimester. Although I told you guys I've had the best second trimester. We're almost done. We have just a few more weeks till I do my update. I have so many updates, so many things changed in the second half of second trimester, but also I'm starting to just feel the not good stuff of being pregnant. It's so weird to do a video like this. Cause you never know when to take a bite and when to talk. Oh well. I've been so tired. Monday, I didn't get off the couch all day. Tuesday, I worked out, but yeah. Wednesday, I went to a boxing class and I was that girl that like, I threw a punch, I threw another punch. Then I would stand there rubbing my belly for like a good five minutes. And this was the whole class. Didn't even break a sweat, didn't even get short of breath. It was kind of a waste of my time. Just bending over to pick stuff up has been a little bit more challenging. Like when I drop something, I'm like, Ugh. and then I bend over and I'm like, Ugh. I just feel the difference in my center of gravity. I'm just tired. I'm just dragging all the time. It's part of it. That's why I'm saying if I have to force myself to go to the grocery store 
to get fun food for a video, first of all, <laughs> food. Second of all, it'll make me walk and move. I also have my gestational diabetes test. They told me at my next appointment, but my next appointment's next week, which would make me only 25 weeks. And somebody else said that they do it at 28, so I don't know, because they always tell me things wrong with this doctor. So I am getting ready to switch, but the one that a friend referred me to, when I went to go call on Google, it says that he's permanently closed, so I guess he shut down. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find somebody else. But in the meantime, I heard that when you take that test, all of the sugar for the rest of the day, you just are like knocked on your butt. You can't get off the couch. Like one girl was saying she almost fell asleep driving home. Another girl was saying she couldn't eat beforehand. My doctor said I could eat whatever, like eat just be normal all day, even though my appointment's at 10 o'clock in the morning, but so I will have breakfast that does have a decent amount of carbs in there. I don't know, does that happen to you guys? The other girl said she was like falling asleep eating her lunch. I, I don't know, let me know. I kind of don't even want to do the test because all that sugar is not good for me or baby. I mean, it's a one-time deal, it's okay, but I need to know. Like on Monday, I had a meeting early in the morning, so I just threw together what Adam normally eats for breakfast, which is oats and chia seeds and trail mix. I put chocolate chips in there, although they're like lightly sweetened with stevia, not sugar, but blueberries, like oat milk, and it was a lot of food. It was a lot of carbs in one shot. I mean, there was protein in there, but I was knocked on my ass. Within two hours, I was starving. I'm like, oh my God, do I have gestational diabetes? I was so thirsty the past two days, but I think we get in our heads. So I, I want to get the test because of my age, but I don't want to drink that drink. Ugh, I wish I could do a three or four day test, you know, when they let you kind of measure your foods and prick your finger or whatever it is, but I won't be difficult. Anyway, this is going to get annoying to watch this just and hear me babble. I just finished my salad and I wanted something sweet and dark chocolate has been my thing. So I'm just doing a couple of these dull banana dippers. It's just banana covered in chocolate. Mm, so good. You're supposed to let it thaw for five minutes. I mean, nobody got time for that. A pregnant girl with chocolate in front of her is not letting it sit there for five minutes. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm out for my walk. It's the first like hot spring day in Vegas. It's April 2nd when I'm filming this and it's like close to 90 degrees today. So some shorts, tank top, my little bag. Cause don't think we're not stopping at Walmart. That's what this was all for. This walk is so hard. I told you guys, my energy has been down the toilet this week. I've probably been walking for 10 minutes and I had planned to walk for like an hour and a half to two hours. I mean, the route I took, it's the only way I know how to get there because there's bathrooms on the way. <laughs> I'm just going to have to find something really interesting on audiobook or YouTube to take my mind off the fact that I don't know how I'm going to take one step in front of the other, but we'll do it. That's the best part about these types of days, weeks, months, is that you get it done and then you feel so accomplished. Anyway, this is a cravings video, not a workout video, but there's that. Mwah. I think I walked for close to two hours. I stopped at Walmart, you guys saw everything I got. Here's something that I'm gonna have for a snack. Probably seems like a weird pregnancy craving, but I'm not gonna lie, I did this before I got pregnant. So pregnancy has made me crave mango. It does give me heartburn, so I've gotta go slow with it. Just a little teeny tiny bit. I was doing it more for this video. I've kind of been trying to avoid it recently. Fresh fruit, especially watermelon. Every pregnant woman I've ever spoken to has craved fresh fruit and watermelon at some point during their pregnancy. I will do that, <laughs> but I will mix it with peanut butter, cinnamon, and add chocolate, sometimes chocolate chips. I've recently been doing unsweetened Baker's chocolate. Gross or delicious, you guys let me know. The other thing I was craving today was bubbles. Normally I crave kombucha, but I can't do it because of 
the heartburn and you can't really do all the time pregnant anyway. So I don't typically drink out of a can and I don't typically drink bubbles anyway because the stomach issue is pregnant. So I probably won't drink this whole thing. Actually, you guys saw, I'll put it in here, but when I opened it about this much spilled out because I broke the top, it fell out of the bag when I was pushing the cart out of the grocery store. So, and then I drank probably this much while I was walking home because I was so thirsty. The desert heat, I'm not used to. It really needed ice. So we're gonna have some of this. We're gonna eat our fruit. Then I have to hop in the shower because Adam called. He told me my car would be ready in about an hour. That was about an hour and a half ago. I forgot, they had to do my breaks too. So we're gonna sit here and eat this and then hop in the shower and then get the car. We're gonna Uber to the car and then we're gonna do the Burger King, Impossible Burger. Let's sit and eat this. I should probably sit outside, it's so gorgeous. But I don't feel like moving all of this. It's pregnancy's gotten like that for me. Is it just me or do headphones make your food taste different? takes the flavor away. Is it me or can somebody relate? Mmm. Weird one. I mean, you could do peanut butter and apples. So I do peanut butter and basically every fruit. I'm really not that hungry today because I ate that huge salad for lunch and I also drank bubbles. Okay, we're gonna do it. Cold. That's so good. Furring, furring, furring Durst. Try faster. During first trimester, I craved the heck out of some pickles. So I still have to start. But I figured since pickles are always part of people's pregnancy cravings, we're gonna try them with peanut butter. Lord help me. These are the sweet baby gherkins, jerkins, how do you say it? They don't smell very appealing to me right now. But we have peanut butter out, we have pickles out. So I'm doing this for all of my pregos out there. Again, this is not my craving, but I did have to do something weird because I've been craving basically healthy food. Here we go. It smells weird. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Remember, these are sweet pickles. If I'm gonna eat a pickle, I prefer like a really, really sour, basically a cucumber, but a really sour pickle. But something about the sweet with this, the salty and the sweet of the peanut butter, and I have to tell you, it's a texture thing. The crunch of this and the creaminess of the peanut butter, I don't think I'll ever eat it again. But that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. But it's giving me heartburn, so we gotta stop. There's my weird pregnancy thing for you guys. I'm not craving it, but somebody is. Mm. Now the smaller pickles is making me sick. Mm -mm. I feel so bad for you guys during this vlog slash mukbang. I have no energy, none. Where's this drive through? Ooh, the sun glare is real. Do not enter, okay. We won't enter, oh, here we go. Are you kidding me? I just drove in a circle. Is it closed? Why is it here? Okay. Oh. Hi, can I have an Impossible Whopper, please? Okay. There's no cheese on there, right? Uh, not that I Nope, that's perfect. No cheese. Uh, anything else I can do That's it. Okay, thanks. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so far away. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Eee! I've literally been craving this. I'm not even hungry right now or I would stop and do like a full blown car, like mukbang that everybody does. I feel like a reviewer, like my beloved Peter Mon, but I'm not hungry. I don't think I'm gonna be hungry for a little while. That's okay, Adam's not home tonight, so I'll probably just chill. Actually, he just went to go, uh, he picked me up from the house because I couldn't get any Ubers. I felt so bad. He had to leave work, drive half an hour to come get me, 
and then take me 20 minutes to go get the car. Thank you for rescuing me and being my personal Uber. See, this is me just making up for what, uh, however many months you had to shuttle me back and forth. I thought you were going to say all the years of the six hour drive. Oh, no, there's no comparison to that. <laughs> no. I think we're going to have to pick this up later. I don't think anyone's going to be able to hear it. He's like, we'll just go get dinner. So I was like, all right, we'll go, we'll get dinner. And then I'm like, I'll just do the Whopper in another craving video because I'm sure they're going to be bad in the third trimester. But by the time we got the car and it was paid for and the guy showed us what was up with it, like I needed my brakes redone and an oil change. There wasn't time to go to dinner and I was like, oh, I can finish my video. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit this for a little while because it's Friday and I want to get this up by Monday and weekends are usually jam-packed for us because those are the two days that we have together. So I'll probably eat in like, I don't know, it's 5, actually 5.42. My car is still on East Coast time. It says 8.42, so I have to always do the math in my head. But, you know, your girl could always use some math practice. I'm so bad. So <clears throat> we will go home, we'll edit, and we'll eat in probably like... I'm going to say probably close to seven, but I don't know. We'll see. Love you guys. Okay, I'm back. I just realized I got a funky tan line going on today. So we're going to have to even that out throughout the next couple weeks while it's hot when I go for walks and work out outside. Anyway, I was editing for, I don't know, a little while. It's about a little after 630 and I just felt like oh, starving. When we went to go get the car, I took a Harper medicine. So I don't know if that kind of made it happen, but... That's how I go from like zero to starving, which is how it is. But really quick, let's do a bump update. I haven't done one and look at all this food we ate today. It's definitely popping. It is time for the burger that I've been craving since probably October. And it's now April. I just threw napkins everywhere. Okay. So this is the Burger King Impossible Whopper. So obviously it's vegan. Spilling stuff everywhere. Mm, here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Mmm. Mmm. I have to act vacuum for Adam comes home and hide the evidence, but it's okay. A lot of onion which is not going to bode well for my heartburn, but I don't remember it being this oniony. Maybe because I let it get cold, but I just wasn't hungry before. We'll take a couple bites. We'll see how this goes. It's hard to get my mouth around it. So I'll tell you a funny thing. Yesterday was April 1st, April Fool's. And one of the girls at Adam's work was trying to play a trick on her boyfriend or husband and she wanted to tell him that she was pregnant. So she was trying to get him to get me to come pee on a stick so that she had a positive pregnancy test. And Adam was like, no way. No way, I don't want any part of that. He's gonna be so upset. Like, I don't wanna do that to him because I guess they already have two young kids. And she was like, come on, come on, it'll be fun. And he was like, absolutely not. And when he told me, I started laughing so hard and I was like, I could, I would have done it in a heartbeat. I would have driven the half an hour. Well, yes, sir, I was really tired, but I might have driven the half an hour just to go and do it for him because I can get down with a good prank. You know what it is? This ha has no flavor. It has no pickles. Where are the pickles? I mean, you left the pickles off the pregnant girl's whopper? What? I'm gonna see if I have any. The pregnant girl doesn't have pickles. We had them first trimester, mm, really sour ones, really dilly. But I ate them all. The only ones I have are the sweet ones, which mm -mm, I don't think that's gonna go well in here. Mm. Let me know in the comments below if you were me. Would you have participated in that prank? Or would you have been like Adam and been like, no, I can't do that to him. I'm not gonna do that to that guy. This is really lacking flavor. Maybe if you eat vegan cheese and put that on there, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. 
and be not impressed. Adam's coming home. It's 6.30 now. He'll probably be home around like 8.30, 9. He'll probably be starving. So this kind of turned into what I eat in a day, sort of, but a little different. Like I would have never really eaten this. I probably would have eaten like another salad or something. But if we eat again, something that I'm craving, which is something I crave a lot, is frozen pizza. Maybe I'll make him one and I'll take a bite. Then I'll add some footage. But honestly, this video got way longer than I expected it to. So I think I'm going to do this again if you guys like it because... <laughs> eat all my cravings and i heard that they're really strong in the third trimester one woman likes that she literally part of her nighttime routine was making cookies and eating them every night i loved her for it so you guys tell me what you think i hope i'm back with more energy my sister swears it gets better she thinks it's just because of my trip to new jersey so we'll see i don't know me and my not great burger are gonna go finish editing our video love you guys see you in the next one Mwah. Too bad.